might regret that night for the rest of my days. I remember those calls your voice to head over themselves to an all praise. I remember that dream like candlelight, like a dream that you can't quite place. But I never, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face. As a woman who has never been satisfied, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You forget yourself. You're like me. I'm never satisfied. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. My name is Angelica Schuyler. Alexander Hamilton. Where's your family from? Unimportant. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. Da, da, da. So this is what it feels like to match wit with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's been strangling with the key and a kite. You see it right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total agreement. It's the three minutes, a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stand. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'ma give it a chance. I asked about his family. Did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting. He looked askance. Anyways, he's flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz, and he can't even grow it. I want to take him far away from this place, then I turn and see my sister's face, and she is helpless. And I know she is helpless. And her eyes are just helpless. And I realize three fundamental truths at the exact same time. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb the one. But I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is and city is. And Alexander is penny list. <laughs> That doesn't mean I want a man less. Elizabeth Skyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Skyler, my sister. Number two. He's after me 'cause I'm a Skyler sister. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly, at least my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.